This is uh, Bowman M1 Double Two. It's uh, one of Bowman's larger twin cylinder engines. I haven't run it for a while. And uh, it's a nice engine, so I think it deserves. Exposure. So I'm about to put that right. I'd forgotten just how big this boiler is. It's 300 mils already. Can't be much more. Yeah, about 340. I think that's a bit too much. Another twenty out, three twenty.
actually repaired this uh, this burner. And I think I made the slot a bit too narrow, so it's a bit reluctant to start, but it does start eventually. The actual cylinder cylinders in this engine are enclosed in the outer casing so it's difficult to actually get at them to lubricate them. You have to rely on these drip feed lubricators. Or remove the outer casing which is uh, possible but not easy. Okay, it's a large boiler so it will take a while to uh, get up to steam, it's just a matter of waiting there. I can hear the water boiling now so it won't be long. Stiff to start with, but she's going. And that's a very wet steam.
Nigeria is extremely stiff. No, it's, uh... trying to loosen up this regulator. I don't think it's going to get much looser. Makes it very difficult, especially when it's hot, which it is. Makes it very difficult to get very fine control of the speed. nice to get an oscillating engine to go slow enough to see the actual speed uh, without any aliasing. So I can't see any, any on the viewfinder screen. I don't know uh, if it will appear uh, like that on the final video. That's not bad for an oscillating engine. I 
I know that one M101 can get do better than that, even though that's a single cylinder, but uh, that does have a massive flywheel. does have quite a bit of torque on the get it down shaft which is not really surprising. <laughs> <laughs> 